Hi everyone. This arrived today in the mail, so I thought we could open up and take a look at it. Good Smile Company's Shredder statue. Continuing their Ninja Turtles line. Really been looking forward to this figure, so let's get into the box and have a look. A few things to assemble. So out of the box, before we put everything on the figure, we'll just have a closer look. Excellent paintwork. There's nice shading on there. There's lots of dark washes. Really nice metallic purple paint. Even his straps and his belt has really nice shading on it. And the helmet is removable. And that lets you take the faceplate off, revealing his face underneath. And that is also excellently detailed. The scar has been put in there. The faceplate is very uh, samurai looking. Really nice wash on there. Excellent detail. Putting the helmet back on with his unmasked face. Personally, I think he looks better with the mask on. So he comes with his signature cape. There's also a dark purple, with nice washes on there, some really nice shading, really nicely tatted, really nice sculpt. That just plugs straight into the back. There's a peg there, and that fits in really well. He also comes with his shoulder blades, which are packaged individually in these little blister bubbles. It's really nicely uh, protected, and they are out of the packaging, and they are extremely sharp. And they have corresponding pegs with the left and the right, so there's no confusion. That one just plugs straight in. And that one plugs in rather nicely. And here is with the shoulder blades. And his forearm blades, they also come in a little blister package. Really nicely well protected. They also come individually pegged, so there's no confusion of the left and the right.
Wait for them nice and snug. He also comes with some shin spikes. Plug into the sides of his boots. That one clips in quite nicely. Whereas the other one, I think maybe it would be easier to put on before putting on the cape. Because it is a tight squeeze in there. So putting the faceplate back on the statue completes the uh, look. So the statue itself, including the base, stands around 19 centimeters, which is about seven and a half inches. And then the statue itself is around 17 centimeters. The actual base can be removed. And his feet are just positioned with pegs in the base. It's quite a hefty feeling base. Quite solid, and he stands nice and sturdy on it, just clips right back in there. Based on the artwork by James Jean, there's a very uh, traditional samurai look, and very heavy on the spikes on his armour. An incredible amount of detail in this piece and I think it looks excellent. Slightly a bit smaller than I was maybe anticipating but overall it's a flawless work. For a comparison here is the Leonardo statue. And standing side by side Shredder is quite a bit taller. They are both crouching. I would say there's, there's a good height difference between them. Here he is on the shelf with the rest of the Good Smile Company turtle statues. Obviously this is just a temporary home. When I get Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang they will have, all have their own details. Thanks very much for watching guys. And please subscribe for more statue and figure reviews. Until then, see you later.